Hey everyone, um, so cooking up a storm today with myself and Jamie from the Root Appreciation Society. Um, today we're testing out some of Gifty's Ghana's Kitchen. Uh, can't see the sign because of the lighting. Um, Suya Gold Rubs. So there's a couple of different rubs I used today on this rack of ribs. Hey everyone for joining, good to see you. Um, so one is the Suya Gold Rub, uh, which can't really see very well and the uh, wicks mixed with the suya gold fire so now these I've, I've tested these before with just a standard cook and they've been fantastic so couldn't wait to do some ribs and it's just been a long time coming uh, and then gifty's got a fantastic um, uh, glaze recipe you can get on our website as well which involves the suya gold smoke so got onto that and it's been fantastic um, so the ribs just so you can see it looks a little bit like that So very nice, beautiful glaze on that um, on that as well. So we can't wait to try this, can we, Jamie? I've been looking at them for half an hour. I'm waiting. <laughs> I've been Thanks. taking like fifty photos. Uh, hey, Fade, how you doing, buddy? Manny, how you doing, buddy? Um, so yeah, just doing some taste testing, quick wrap. So uh, the ribs are from Aldi, so a bit of a, a simple rack, nothing too crazy, uh, and uh, and obviously yeah, everything else is sort of Gifty's recipes and Gifty's rubs. So let's. Let's cut her open. Um, knife safety, as always. But um, yeah. Ooh. All right. Never really cut ribs live before, so apologies on that. Um, mate, you're the guest. Give her a whirl. So. The glaze is just epic, by the way. So, sorry. Excuse the fingers. Oh. It's unreal. So, this, um, this particular rub actually has a, um, uh, it's got like a nut. There it went. It's got a fair bit of kick as well. <laughs> as you can see, Jamie's struggling here with the kick. Um, because I, yeah, Gifty had a, a recipe for the glaze, and I'm like, nah, needs a little bit more than that. So, but really good. Um, based in, based in Melbourne, so not too far away. And uh, yeah, just doing something different. And uh, obviously, that is good. That is good. They're good? Yeah. Uh, that's good. Jamie doesn't like the spicy stuff, so I always push him, push him to boundaries with um, with this stuff. Mm. Really good, really good. So that's it. Hope everyone's doing all right. Um, I've been like dying to cook some ribs, so I don't think I've cooked ribs since last year. It's been ages. So, uh, <laughs> so. Sorry, fellow dad, dad joke. So, yeah, check her out. And um, look, uh, the glaze recipe, I think, is transferable to a, different, call it a lot of different other things. Hey, Shui, how you doing, buddy? Um, holding Kinder Fuss, how you doing, man? So, yeah, definitely definitely something that I'm sort of testing out. So, the other rack I've done, I'm not sure I'm necessarily going to go live with. I've, I was eating, I've got um, Paul Mercurio's pork rub in the, um, in the Fonetto behind me, which... Can barely see uh, and that's cooking up and i've got a beetroot glaze using paul's spicy beetroot chutney that he's got so testing that out and uh the taste test has been good so far you know obviously obviously there you go, oh jeez so jeez sorry guys and girls <laughs> So yeah, uh, I'll see how that goes. But yeah, the, the, the glaze as I created, Paul sort of gave me some ideas on how I can cook it up. Uh, and I sort of just threw a few other things in there. And that's just been, that's, the glaze tastes amazing. And I reckon on the pork, it's gonna be unreal. But that's on a real big, meaty, chunky uh, rack of ribs. So it'll be a little while before that's ready. Um, probably in about an hour or so. So I may go online, may not, but if not, um, hope everyone's doing great. Jamie, thanks for coming on. I think you're the first official person next to me in the insta live <laughs> scary i know yeah you're in the top two uh <laughs> sorry all right thanks everyone we'll talk soon see ya